Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bruce with Bruce's Best of YouTube channel, welcoming you today to a very special day in the Clay Douglas world. Today, this day, Veterans Day 2022, is the five-year anniversary of of the Clay Douglas famous meet and greet. Probably the biggest event that Clay Douglas ever had on his show. There was a scheduled event in January of 2018 for a pancake breakfast at the Hotel Settles, which unfortunately never happened because Clay suffered a stroke on December 16th of 2017 and never recovered. People are asking me left and right, is Clay still alive? As of three weeks ago, he is still alive. So I'm assuming he still is. Uh, will he ever be able to come back? I seriously doubt you'll ever hear his voice again, unfortunately. But it is what it is. There was a post made a little while, a couple hours ago, on the Clay Douglas fan club site on Facebook. And it reads like this. It pretty much sums it up. Five years ago, Steve held one of the most successful radio events in history. Molly Hatchet was amazing. The Tex-Mex was delightful on Barry. Well, he did a great job of manning the dunk tank. It did get a little out of hand, though, as the margaritas kept flowing. The DMFs were not able to control their basic instincts and the horrified Jose's grandmother with the infamous man pile in the men's bathroom, where they were used for vile and disgusting purposes. Doug Daniger, gay man, gay journalist, did not help matters with his open lusting of Barry's boyfriend. It was an orgy that would... Make the residences of Sodom and Gomorrah blush. And Casablanca's plumbing still, to this day, has issues with used condoms clogging up their connection to the city main. Somewhat overshadowed by the explosive man pile and the use of a fecal matter to decorate the bathroom walls was the fact that Clay was able to sign a record number of PDFs that day. Record, uh, rumor has it he signed over 100 that day. Steve and him were also able to get in on some of the great cross-promotional content on their upcoming move to Sirius XM and their new show, aptly named The Morning Brew, which was scheduled to debut in January of 2018. As the evening moved back to Hotel Settles, preliminary discussions were being held by Steve and Hunter regarding the next event that would be taking place. The Pancake Breakfast. Doug Daniger, gay man, gay journalist, shirked his responsibilities as one of the organizers because he was too eager to get to Barry's boyfriend back to his room. From that point on, it was decided that Hunter would be the point man for, Clay, point man for Clay's next big event. It is safe to say the West Texas internet radio market has never been the same. Clay and Steve's partnership with Barry and his flower shop broke boundaries and revolutionized internet radio sponsorship. Rare do we see such close partnership that integrated with the show format so seamlessly. Clay also broke new ground with his news department and Doug Daniger. It is not common to see a reporter, but such a source of content within the show. Some may question Doug's professionalism, but you can't question the quality of his content. It was an event for the ages, and we're still feeling its effect a half a decade later. So now... On this five-year anniversary of this incredible event, I would like to bring you some of the highlights of that incredible day in Big Spring, Texas. It was the biggest thing ever happened in Big Spring, Texas, going all the way back to 1927. So it was a really big deal. Over 100 people showed up at the Casablanca. So I hope you enjoy this look back at five years ago today. Welcome to another edition of the Free American. I'm your host, I'm Clay Douglas. And just busy cooking the people out of the chat room that don't have any business being in here. So your toes are just lining up. And I bet you're, uh, I bet you're doing it in the uh, phone rooms too. Don't think I'm going to take any more calls. I have got some calls that are pretty interesting. Not from Barry. Hello, Barry, you cocksucker. Hope you come to, uh, I come here because uh, I am meeting with Steve and he's pointing the finger at you as being the ringleader of this whole website and uh, this uh, fake uh, meeting 
Grinch. I do hope you come in to meet the police chief, Barry, you ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> Good boy, Clay. Clay, you know what? I'm, I'm actually already here. I, my plane arrived a little early. I got here a little way after 7. I'm staying at the Settles Hotel on the 10th floor. A um, couple things. First off, um, I'm a little discombobulated because of my flight. Um, this is going to be a great thing tomorrow. I, I, I am so excited about being here. But, but I'm going to tell you tonight. I'm going to, Clay, Clay, you can laugh. Oh, hey, you lied, motherfucker. Right now, Clay, if you, you lie, lied, here, motherfucker. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm here. I'm here, Clay. I'm on the 10th floor right now. I'm looking out my window. I am here, Clay. You can, you can joke all you want. But I'm telling you, it's going off tomorrow. I woke up at 2.30 this morning to catch my flight. Um, I'm here. I'm here now. I would like to meet with you. Uh, I know Steve is arriving, but he's not coming until dinner time. But I would like to meet with you for lunch if you promise not to lay a hand on me. If you lay a hand on me, I'm going to deck the shit out of you, sir. I'm going to oh, I hope you, like you do. I hope you do. My, uh, my general rule is that I never throw the first punch, but uh, I always say uh, you I'm can right. always throw the first punch with me, and then I'll no, put no. you in the fucking hospital, you ignorant motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't do that. I would never throw the first punch, because I don't want to fight you. I'm here because I'm a fan of yours. I'm a fan well, of huh. yours. You think, I'm like, you think I'm some kind of troll or something. I yeah. think you are a pro. Yes, sir. I sure do. I will prove to you that I'm here. Will you meet me at Dell's at 1230? And I will treat you to lunch as long as you promise not to lay a hand on me. No, I won't meet you at lunch. I have another appointment. I, mean, I won't meet you for lunch, you. lunch at Dell's. I'm not going to flick Dell's in a small cafe. And no, yes, I'm not. not meeting at Dell's. All right. Well, I brought, I brought some flowers you from my shop. I'm also having flowers delivered to the meet and greet tomorrow. So, you know, my booth will be open. Clay, I'm, I, I would, I'm trying to make friends with you, but you don't want to be friends. I don't know why. Uh, if you give me your address, I'll stop by. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop by your trailer during your show if you tell me where you live. I no, stop by I don't do that. I don't do that. Friends. You motherfucker! I don't do that. You don't come around my house. I'll, I won't. I won't hit you. I'll shoot you. You show up already anywhere near my property, and I will shoot your ass, you dumb motherfucker. Don't I consider that a threat? If you come to my property, around <laughs> my family, anybody, I will fucking put you in the ground and call the police to come pick you up. You understand that? Uh, I'll meet you at a cafe uh, in a public place. I'll meet you there. Okay. Not at one o'clock because I've got another appointment there. But well, really uh, yeah, picture. I want to meet you. I want to see you. I want to take your fucking picture. I'll record anything that we say. But uh, okay, I want to. I, you don't come around any of my properties. You understand that? I will not, sir. I only ask for if you don't want me to. I have, look. I, I really don't want to come to that that house of yours. Uh, Jeff in Wilmington. Um, I need a little bit of advice, please. Um, what should I do? I'm headed down I-85 toward I-20 uh, for this weekend. My family is pissed. I, my wife, she's black. Um, she's with Black Lives Matter. And, but I, I tried to settle it. I told her that you were black, and then she listened to your show and found out she thinks you're a white supremacist racist. And I tried to explain her that you were not with. You were still with Black Lives Matter. But but I don't know what to do now. How do I? Well, I know, but what do I? Fuck How do I tell her that you're not a racist, though? She's go to hell. You'd be lying to her. Eight one eight, eight one three, eight one three. What do you want? Hey, Clay, it's Tom in Tampa. I just arrived in Texas. I'm, I'm just getting close. Since this uh, meet greet has been such a huge success, I think we ought to plan a Christmas party at Dell's Cafe. I'll uh, I'll get you. Fuck you. Four oh two. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, this is John and Oman right here. I am at Christie's Cafe right now. I just had a New Mexico chicken. I don't know what all this talk about Bell's Cafe is. It's not even that great. But uh, my wife made you a cherry pie. Uh, and I'll be 
are you going to be there tomorrow? Because I'm going to uh, give it to you. Uh, she made it uh, on Wednesday. There ain't going to be a meet and greet. Well, I don't know. Maybe there will be. I don't know. I hope so. I have anything I can't to wait do to with see it. Play. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. I've been listening since June. I absolutely love your show. Uh, uh, and I'm just so excited to see you. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'll probably be at Dell's about 930. Dell's is closed, you know. They're yeah, not open on Saturday. He said it was going to be open with... Uh, uh, special opening hour. He lied. Goodbye. For hey, Clay, it's Chad calling from Atlanta. Hey, I was wondering, I just got into Midland, and I was wondering if you know where I can get a good pair, get a good, good pair of nunchucks. No. Goodbye. 509, who are you? What do you want? What are you up to, bud? Oh, nothing. I'm just sitting here jacking off. What the fuck do you want? Who are hey, you? What are you doing? Want? How you doing? You're too goddamn dumb to talk to. Go away. And in Russia, we've got a few calls in here. I'll take this one. Barry, why are you stealing Timothy's phone? He doesn't know Good who morning. you are. Good morning. So, look, look, I want to apologize um, for the late venue change on um, Saturday for the meeting. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you changed venues because you were afraid that I would.